The DARPA Falcon Project Force Application and Launch from Continental United States is a two-part joint project between the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA and the United States Air Force USAF and is part of Prompt Global Strike. One part of the program aims to develop a reusable, Rapid Strike Hypersonic Weapon System HWS, now retitled the Hypersonic Cruise Vehicle HCV, and the other is for the development of a launch system capable of accelerating an HCV to cruise speeds, as well as launching small satellites into Earth orbit. This two-part program was announced in 2003 and continued into 2006. BlackSwift was a project announced under the Falcon banner using a fighter-sized unmanned aircraft which would take off from a runway and accelerate to Mach 6, 7350 kilometers per hour, 4567 miles per hour before completing its mission and landing again. The memo of understanding between DARPA and the USAF on BlackSwift also known as the HTV-3X, was signed in September 2007. The Black Swift HTV-3X did not receive needed funding and was cancelled in October 2008. Current research under Falcon program is centered on X-41 Common Aero Vehicle CAV, a common aerial platform for hypersonic ICBMs and cruise missiles, as well as civilian RLVs and ELVs. The prototype hypersonic technology vehicle 2 HTV2 first flew on the 22nd of April 2010. The second test flew the 11th of August 2011. Both flights ended prematurely. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Design and development. Topic: <laughs> Past projects The aim was always to be able to deploy a craft from the continental United States, which could reach anywhere on the planet within one to two hours. The X-20 Dinosaur in 1957 was the first publicly acknowledged program. Although this would have been launched vertically on a rocket and then glided back to Earth, as the Space Shuttle did, rather than taking off from a runway. Originally, the shuttle was envisaged as a part USAF operation, and separate military launch facilities were built at Vandenberg AFB at great cost, though never used. After the open Dinosaur USAF program from 1957 to 1963, spaceplanes went black, became highly classified. In the mid-1960s, the CIA began work on a high max biplane called Project Isinglass. This developed into Rhineberry, a design for a Mach 17 air launched reconnaissance aircraft, which was later cancelled, according to Henry F. Cooper, who was the director of the Strategic Defense Initiative. Star Wars! Under President Reagan, spaceplane projects consumed $4 billion of funding in the 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s, excluding the Space Shuttle. This does not include the 1950 and 1960s budgets for the Dinosaur, Isinglass, Rhineberry, and any 21st century spaceplane project which might emerge under Falcon. He told the United States Congress in 2001 that all the United States had in return for those billions of dollars was one crashed vehicle, a hangar queen, some drop test articles and static displays. Falcon was allocated US$170 million for budget year 2008. Hypersaur The Hypersaur was an American hypersonic aircraft project developed at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory LLNL. It was to be capable of flying at around Mach 12, 9200 miles per hour, 14700 kilometers per hour, allowing it to transit between any two points on the globe in under 2 hours. The Hypersaur was predicted to be a passenger plane capable of skipping outside the atmosphere to prevent it from burning up in the atmosphere. A trip from Chicago to Tokyo, 10123 kilometers, would take 18 skips or 72 minutes. It was planned to use hydrocarbon-based engines outside the atmosphere and experimental jet engine technology with testing to begin by 2010. 
Later, the hypersaur concept was acquired from LLNL by DARPA, and in 2002 it was combined with the USAF X-41 Common Aero Vehicle to form the Falcon program. Falcon The overall Falcon Force Application and Launch from Continental United States program announced in 2003 had two major components, a small launch vehicle for carrying payloads to orbit or launching the hypersonic weapons platform payload, and the hypersonic vehicle itself. Topic. Small launch vehicle The DARPA Falcon solicitation in 2003 asked for bidders to do development work on proposed vehicles in a first phase of work, then one or more vendors would be selected to build and fly an actual launch vehicle. Companies which won first phase development contracts of $350,000 to $540,000 in November 2003 included Air Launch LLC, Reno, Nevada Andrews Space Inc., Seattle, Washington Exquadrum Inc., Victorville, Quebec KT Engineering, Huntsville, Alabama Lockheed Martin Corp., New Orleans, Louisiana Microcosm Inc., El Segundo, California Orbital Sciences Corp., Dulles, Virginia Schaefer Corp. Chelmsford, Massachusetts Space Exploration Technologies, Hawthorne, California Topic. Hypersonic Weapon System The first phase of the hypersonic weapon system development was won by three bidders in 2003, each receiving a $1.20 to $1.5 million contract for hypersonic vehicle development. Andrews Space Inc., Seattle, Wash. Lockheed Martin Corp., Lockheed Martin Aeronautics Co., Palmdale, Calif. Northrop Grumman Corp., Air Combat Systems, El Segundo, Calif., Lockheed Martin received the only Phase II HWS contract in 2004, to develop technologies further and reduce technology risk on the program. Topic. Follow on hypersonic program Following the Phase II contract, DARPA and the U.S. Air Force continued to develop the hypersonic vehicle platform. The program was to follow a set of flight tests with a series of hypersonic technology vehicles. The Falcon project includes X-41 Common Aero Vehicle CAV, a common aerial platform for hypersonic ICBMs and cruise missiles, as well as civilian RLVs and ELVs. Hypersonic Technology Vehicle 1 HTV-1, a test concept, originally planned to fly in September 2007, now cancelled. Hypersonic Technology Vehicle 2 HTV2 first flew on the 22nd of April 2010 but contact was lost soon after booster separation HTV3X Black Swift now cancelled hypersonic cruise vehicle HCV would be able to fly 9000 nautical miles 17000 kilometers in 2 hours with a payload of 12000 pounds 5500 kilograms it would fly at a high altitude and achieve speeds of up to Mach 20. Topic Black Swift The Black Swift was a proposed aircraft capable of hypersonic flight designed by the Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, Boeing, and ATK. The USAF states that the Black Swift flight demonstration vehicle will be powered by a combination turbine engine and ramjet, an all-in-one power plant. The turbine engine accelerates the vehicle to around Mach 3 before the ramjet takes over and boosts the vehicle up to Mach 6. Dr. Stephen Walker, the deputy director of DARPA's Tactical Technology Office, acting director as of January 2017, will be coordinating the project. He told the USAF website, I will also be communicating to Lockheed Martin and Pratt and & Whitney on how important it is that we get the technical plan in place, I'm trying to build the bridge at the beginning of the program, to get the communication path flowing. 
The Falcon program has announced the hypersonic horizontal takeoff BlackSwift, HTV-3X. It is also launching the HTV-2 off the top of a rocket booster. Falcon seems to be converging from two directions, on the ultimate goal of producing a hypersonic aircraft which can take off and land from a runway in the U.S., and be anywhere in the world in an hour or two. Falcon is methodically proceeding toward a hypersonic cruise vehicle. Dr. Walker stated, we need to fly some hypersonic vehicles, first the expendables, then the reusables, in order to prove to decision makers that this isn't just a dream. We won't overcome the skepticism until we see some hypersonic vehicles flying. In October 2008 it was announced that HTV-3X or BlackSwift did not receive needed funding in the fiscal year 2009 defense budget and had been cancelled. The hypersonic cruise vehicle program will continue with reduced funding. Computer simulations of the Falcon HTV-3X vehicle Topic. Flight testing DARPA had two HTV-2s built for two flight tests in 2010 and 2011. The Minotaur IV light rocket is the booster for the HTV-2 with Vandenberg Air Force Base serving as the launch site. DARPA planned the flights to demonstrate thermal protection systems and aerodynamic control features. Test flights were supported by NASA, the Space and Missile Systems Center, Lockheed Martin, Sandia National Laboratories and the Air Force Research Laboratories AFRL Air Vehicles and Space Vehicles Directorates. The first HTV-2 flight was launched on the 22nd of April 2010. The HTV-2 glider was to fly 4,800 miles 7,700 kilometers across the Pacific to Kwajalein at Mach 20. The launch was successful, but the first mission was not completed as planned. Reports stated that contact had been lost with the vehicle nine minutes into the mission. In mid-November, DARPA revealed that the test flight had ended when the computer autopilot had commanded flight termination. According to a DARPA spokesman, when the onboard system detects undesirable or unsafe flight behavior, it forces itself into a controlled roll and pitchover to descend directly into the ocean. Reviews found that the craft had begun to roll violently. A second flight was launched on the 11th of August 2011. The unmanned Falcon HTV-2 successfully separated from the booster and entered the mission's glide phase, but again lost contact with control about nine minutes into its planned 30-minute Mach 20 glide flight. Initial reports indicated it purposely impacted the Pacific Ocean along its planned flight path as a safety precaution. Some analysts thought that the second failure would result in an overhaul of the Falcon program. Topic. Refocus In July 2013, DARPA decided it would not conduct a third flight test of the HTV-2 because enough data had been collected from the first two flights, and another test was not thought to provide any more usable data for the cost. The tests provided data on flight aerodynamics and high temperature effects on the aeroshell. Work on the HTV-2 would continue to summer 2014 to provide more study on hypersonic flight. The HTV-2 was the last active part of the Falcon program. DARPA has now changed its focus for the program from global, strategic strike to high-speed tactical deployment to penetrate air defenses and hit targets quickly from a safe distance. Topic. See also Boeing X-51 Prompt Global Strike, a follow-on military project Rockwell X-30, National Aerospace Plane Lockheed Martin State Route 72